Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is uh, Pastor Lafayette. We're looking at Take 5 with Pastor Laf. We're in Psalm chapter 23. Didn't get very far yesterday. Let's see if uh, things change again today. I'm going to read verses 1 through 6, all the verses. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yesterday I got uh, hung up on the Lord is my shepherd, which is just a powerful concept in, in and of itself. When you make the Lord your shepherd, see, this is, this is a, a, a profession of David's faith. This is something that he says. This is a song he wrote that he speaks. Um, I want you to consider the, the value of your words. Because he follows up his statement that he has made the Lord his shepherd with this, I shall not want. Um, basically, I will not be in want. The Lord is going to take care of me. My shepherd has got my best interest at heart. Now, of course, um, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like this. Sometimes we think. I, I thought about this at times. I thought, man, I, man, I wish it would. I wish it would rain. And sometimes I would think, man, I'm going to pray for rain. And then I've got other people thinking, uh, wondering if other people are thinking, man, I, I wish it would. I wish it would just be sunny today. I've got a special event planned outside. I want it to be sunny. So we've got two conflicting people who's personal interest uh, might conflict somewhat. Uh, but I think that when I delight myself in the Lord, when I place my, my desire, my heart, when I place all my hope, my trust, my love in Him, He gives me the desires of my heart because my desires are in line with His. So when the Lord is my shepherd and when, I really, uh, when I'm really after just serving, following, seeking Him, I believe that I find that I shall not be in want, that, that I shall not want because he's providing, he's caring. Uh, I'm following, he's my leader. I am, I'm in line with him. My heart is in line with his. Um, <coughs> my will is in line with his. And because I'm in line, I find that he's meeting every one of my needs. You know, it's kind of like um, if a kid runs up and says, hey, could you, could, could you get me a donut? And you think, okay, I'll get you a donut. And then they run off and they go play for an hour or two. And they come back and say, you never gave me my donut. Well, it's because you went off and were doing something else. You didn't wait around long enough for me to get a donut or for me to get you the donut. And I think sometimes uh, we find that sometimes when we're in want because we're not patient. We don't want to wait for it. We don't want to uh, wait for the Lord to do anything. We just kind of get impatient, run off and start doing something else. And so when he finally shows up at the place that we last were with the answer, we've already run off on the seeking the answer from somewhere else or doing something different. If you will align yourself with your shepherd, if you will allow him to lead you and guide you, if you will walk with him and keep in stride with him, if you won't run off, if you won't run ahead, if you won't lag behind, if you'll stay right there, and stay with him, you will find that you will not want. And the Lord will be the Lord, Lord will bless you. That's why David is so awesome. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He <clears throat> he's saying that the Lord guides me. He guides me in these beautiful green pastures filled with all this green grass that I can eat. And I just I mean he just he knows where the best places are to go so that he could feed his sheep. And so I love to follow him because I trust him. I know he's going to lead me in the right place. He leads me beside still waters. I mean, waters that I could drink out of, not waters that are raging, that actually might, uh, you know, somehow, you know, I, might, I could get caught in a current. I could be taken downstream. He leads me beside still waters, waters that, you know, that I could safely drink from the edge 
not really be too concerned with what's going to, uh, uh, with that current that might sweep up uh, and sweep me away. The Lord is my shepherd. He's leading me. He's guiding me, and I trust him. Uh, I could get further into this, but I'm going to have to do this tomorrow. So uh, uh, let me, let's go ahead and go a little bit further. It says he restores my soul. If you let him lead you, if you let him be your shepherd, he will restore you. You will sense his presence. You'll sense his, his encouragement, his strengthening. He leads me in paths of righteousness for him, his name's sake. I'm his. If something happens to me, it's bad for him. He cares about me. So <laughs> because I'm his and because I am part of him, it's a benefit to him to take care of me and to lead me in places of righteousness away from wicked paths. God is good and he's merciful. And he's merciful to you today. So follow the shepherd and rest in him. God bless you today. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.